Do you have situations where you wish you could see multiple Outlook calendars at once? It might be a situation where you have multiple people where you need to look at their calendars to compare, or it's a situation where you have multiple calendars and you need to see them at the same time. If this is true for you and you're not sure how to do it, then this video is exactly what you need. I'll show you how to see multiple Outlook calendars at once today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I'll show you how to see multiple calendars at once in Outlook. I had this come up with a client just the other day and thought that would be a very helpful video for many of you. As we look at how to do this in Outlook, I'll also talk about some scenarios where you might use this and I'll show you a couple of different ways to set it up. Here we have our Outlook calendar, and you most likely have some other calendars that are showing up here on the left-hand side. Your bar may look a little bit different than mine, depending on how you set it up, but most likely you have some different sets of calendars. You may have shared calendars, which are other people in your organization. You may have several of your own calendars, and I will show you in a separate video how to create additional calendars if you would like to have your personal items separate from your work items and so on. In this video, we will focus on how to see two calendars at once and even merge them together. The way you do this is by checking the box next to whatever additional calendar you want. They may be in the shared calendars, they may be in group calendars, they could be anywhere. You just check the box and then you can see the separate calendar shows up. This can be a wonderful view if you're just trying to compare to a coworker's calendar and you need to see when they're available. And oftentimes when you have those shared calendars, it may not show exactly what they have going on like this one does, but you should at least be able to see free and busy time on a calendar that's shared with you. You can do as many of these calendars as you'd like. You can see I can check another calendar and then I can compare three calendars at once. And eventually, I believe when you get to five or six, it will start to lay them out more in a chart view rather than these calendars next to each other, because obviously when you get that many at a time, it will start to be too much. Let's see if we can get it to do that for us. There you go. Now you can see what it would look like if you have, say, six people, you've got a bunch of shared calendars that you need to compare who's available when. We'll go back down to just the two calendars. And when I move my picture, you can see it didn't automatically go back to the side by side. If I go up here to the upper right, you can see I can do the week view, which is what we had before. You can even see I can do the day view if you just need to see today's availability and so on. The schedule view is what we were in when it had multiple, like five or six calendars. But we'll go back to the week. And I'll put my picture back over here. So this is to see them side by side. If you would like to see them merged, let's say both of these calendars are yours, maybe one is your personal items and the other one is your work, and you'd like to see them together, all you need to do is click this little arrow that's on the left-hand side. It's pointing to the left saying, if I click on this, it will merge these calendars. When I click on it, now you can see at the top, it's showing you, you have this calendar and you have that calendar and they're different colors and that's how you can tell which items are on which calendar. So you can see the blue items merged in with the green. And if I decide this isn't what I wanted to do, I can always click the arrow to take that back and unmerge them. So again, to merge, we would hit this and now we see both together. And then if you're done, you can either click the X on the second calendar or you can uncheck it over here. Either one will turn it off. And then we go back to our primary calendar. We talked about a few scenarios when we were going through the instructions, but I wanna reiterate those for you. You could have a situation where you have multiple calendars that have different things on each calendar. This can be especially important if you want to keep your work items separate from your personal items. 
Another scenario is when you're needing to schedule a meeting with other people it can be very helpful to turn on multiple calendars and see when everyone's available. A third option is if you are subscribed to certain calendars, say your kids' activities at their school or something like that, that's the same type of thing. You can turn that on and merge it with your calendar just to see what's happening. And then when you need to just focus on your work, you can turn that back off. There's lots of different reasons you might want to see multiple Outlook calendars, and now you can. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. When you do this, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell, then you will be notified each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.